I'm going to demonstrate how to do a compression test. A compression test is a stability test where we um, isolate a 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter column and then tap on it and then we interpret those results uh, for snow stability. So in your pit wall, neatness counts. So you want your front wall to be really smooth and uh, kind of at a, just at a plumb. Um, on my saw I've marked 30 centimeters um, to make the test go pretty easy. And so what I do is just measure 30 centimeters, I make a cut. Once again, being careful to make it nice and straight. Give it a quick second go. And then mark it for the back. Once the column's completely isolated, I'm ready to tap on it. I do it in um, grades of 10. So I'll do 10 from the wrist. And it's just, I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I'm just kind of flopping my hand down. And I do that 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I got something to break, I would mark it, CT, whatever it was. This is called the CTE, or for easy, if it breaks between 1 and 10. Since we didn't get it, I'm going to keep going. And now I go from the elbow, bring it up at a right angle, and I pretty much just let my hand flop down. I'm not putting a ton of force onto it yet. And I go 10 from the elbow. 1, 13, 14, 15, 16. So in this case, I would record that as CT16. That's a quality three, which means it's a really dirty shear. The quality of shear um, is one, two, and three. One being very planar, very clean. Two being just slightly dirty. Three being very dirty. In this case, it's not uniform. This would be a quality three. So CT16, quality three. I'm going to keep going. 17, 18. A little bit cleaner here. I'd still probably call it a quality maybe three. Um, so that was on 17. Twenty. Now I go to my shoulder and I'm really wailing on it. Haha, -ha, twenty-one. Broke here. This is a quality one shear where it's nice and smooth like that. So twenty-one quality one there. And also, a 21 quality one down in this area. And then I'll keep going to 30. So we had a few different shears there. I want to pay attention to the quality ones because those are the ones that are popping out pretty clean. But it took a lot of force. so. Um, what takes a while is to just be able to interpret those results and I always like doing two of these, two stability tests per pit.